Two of the most popular apps amongst medical students today are Anki and Notion, where Anki is like a purely specialized flashcard app and Notion is more of a all-in-one workflow app. And if you are confused about which of these you have to be using, then stay tuned. What's cooking sapiens? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Erham and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at the University of Oslo in Norway. Now here's my upfront conclusion. I believe that Notion is a way better app than Anki, even though Anki is also a great app for active recall and spaced repetition. However, I stopped using Anki completely in like the second year of, my, of medical school and I will explain why I did this or why I believe that Notion is better than Anki in five major chunks. And all the timestamps will be in the description box below so you guys can skip through and watch exactly the parts that you want to watch. Now let's dive into the video. There are two main approaches to studying in medical school. Firstly, you have randomization, and then secondly, you have systemization. And I believe that Notion is far more superior to Anki because of its ability to systemize. And what exactly do I mean by randomization and systemization? Let's firstly talk about systemization. So the main reason why people want to take notes in medical school or in university at school generally is because they want everything to be systemized, you know? They want to sit down and wrote, note down the lectures in a very structured manner manner you want to have the like the main topic and then the subtopic and all and all, all those explanations within those subtopics in a very structured and systemized manner right so for example in medical school you have let's say talk you have let's say I don't know acute pancreatitis right and then you have firstly the definition of acute pancreatitis secondly the symptoms like I don't know pain in the stomach which is radiating to your back vomiting etc fever maybe if there's an inf infection and then you have the causes of acute pancreatitis like alcohol gallstones and then you also have the investigation, right? Like blood values, and then you also have CT scans, ERCP, etc. And then you have the t management or the treatment for that particular disease. So everything is quite structured and systemized. And the reason why I prefer Notion over Anki is because it allows me to systemize my active recall questions without taking any notes and my workflow in Notion will be linked somewhere over here in case you want to know how I take active recall questions using the toggle feature in Notion. By randomization I'm talking about the fact that there is little or no structure to your active recall. So for example you do one question about liver cirrhosis what exactly are the causes of liver cirrhosis? And the next question is explain the ECG findings in let's say STEMI or NSTEMI. And then thirdly, you have a question about kidney stones. So these questions are not like associated to one particular topic, right? So it's like completely three random questions which you then pop up in let's say Anki when you are doing active recall or spaced repetition. And this is basically the act of randomization as the name suggests. And actually this coincides with something called interleaved practice where you do questions from different topics and according to evidence actually this is quite an efficient way of studying as well. Now even though randomization and interleaved practice are great according to evidence I still believe that I would prefer to do something which is much more closer to reality and Notion allows me exactly that because in medical school we are tested in a very systematic approach. For example in an OSCE exam you are given a patient at a station, at a station right and that patient let's say has COPD and now you have to talk about firstly the cause of COPD and then you know the, the symptoms, the investigation, which tests you can run and then about the treatment and management of that very patient. So it's a very systematic sort of exam and this actually applies to real life as well when you are actually working as a doctor, right? So you get a patient and you have to take the patient history and the investigation and the results and the test and all that stuff. So it's quite a systematic approach. So yeah, I believe that Notion or Active Recall using Notion gives me a much more reality-oriented practice or, or for or like preparation for my exams. Now let's talk about weak point optimization. So we know that Anki has this inbuilt algorithm where it flags all the questions that we do not get right, right? So we click on either good, mediocre, or bad, and then these questions which we are weak at pop up over time. And we have to trust the Anki algorithm so that it pops up these questions that, that, that we are weak at at the right intervals at the right times. I believe that Notion is more practical at this because it allows us to build our own algorithm. So for example, if I'm doing active recall questions for a certain topic and I don't get certain questions right. I can simply color code those questions in red, right? Or highlight those questions in red. And the ones I'm really good at, I can highlight those in green. And the next time I open that topic, I only need to go through the red ones because I know that, okay, the green ones are, I'm, I'm pretty good at, so I don't need to waste my time doing that right now. Whereas on Anki, these cards can start piling up extremely fast, you know, and all of a sudden we have like over 200, 300, or even 500 cards that are 
pending and it creates this much more uh, like you know uh, environment or like stress filled environment where you have to go through all these cards even though you are only weak at a few of those cards so yeah i believe that creating your own algorithm is the way to go and that is the notion really good at this brings me to my next point about lower activation energy. So activation energy is simply the amount of energy that is required for you to begin a certain task. With flashcards, I believe that there's a higher activation energy required and hence flashcards can start feeling like a burden very, very soon because also when you're making these flashcards, you're not really looking at the number of flashcards that you have made. And then all of a sudden you have like tons of flashcards which start piling up and then all these flashcards are pending and you just sit there you're like oh i have to go through all these questions right and this also increases the burden and the stress factor and when the stress factor increases this also increases the friction or the activation energy and yes practically you can't adjust how many questions you want to review per day on anki but i still believe that there when there's tons of work to do it's still a greater chance for you to start procrastinating from that work. On the other hand, I believe that Notion is fairly low commitment because whenever I have, let's say, 20 spare minutes, I can just sit down and bang out a few questions on Notion without having any, you know, hard commitments towards towards active recall whereas doing flashcards on Anki can really feel like a, this this big task where you need to take out a couple of hours in your day in order to go through the questions that you have made or the questions that are pending however one can actually use the exact same argument in Anki's favor by saying that okay well since there is a lower activation energy required for notion you are much more likely to slack off and not do any active recall or spaced repetition at all that is a very fair objection but my response to that is well if you do not have any discipline then it does not matter if you are using Anki or Notion. Discipline is absolutely integral in medical school. If you do not have discipline it does not matter which app you are using you are still going to flunk your exams or like not do well at least. So in my case since flashcards feel more like a burden and this huge task that I need to get done I am personally much more likely to slack off with flashcards compared to Notion. And the last reason why I believe Notion is superior to Anki is because it's like an all-in-one workspace or workflow app. Here you can have your active recall questions, you can have your retrospective revision timetable to keep track of your spaced repetition, you can have your external brain system to keep track of all the lectures that you have fallen behind on and hence need to catch up on, and then you can also have other daily life things such as your daily to-do task list, your, I don't know, gym routine, your, um, I like for me personally, I have my YouTube videos planned out on Notion, the scripts, you know, the recorded versions, like everything else com considering YouTube and other and TikTok and stuff like that. So yeah, I use Notion for literally any other, for every other thing in my life as well. Now you might say that this is unfair because Notion is like an all-in-one app whereas Anki is purely a specialized flashcard app. However, I believe that is false because even when we compare the educational aspect of Anki, I still believe that Notion is superior. And considering, considering the fact that Notion is also free of cost with all these amazing functions, whereas Anki actually costs around, I think, 200 US dollars uh, for iOS on like on like um, Apple uh, gadgets like iPhone. By the way guys, this video is not sponsored by Notion. And by the way, Notion, if you are watching this video and want to sponsor me, then please reach out. And anyway, I'm not trying to bash Anki guys because I still believe that Anki is actually a great tool for active recall and spaced repetition. But I, I, just, I personally just do not see the point of investing in an application where you, when you can have another app for free, which is like an all-in-one workflow or workspace app. In the end guys, all that matters really is that you are doing active recall and spaced repetition to Get the maximum possible results in the shortest possible time and which apps one uses does not really matter that much right if you use the quizlet anki or notion it does not really matter the most important part is active recall and spaced repetition these were just my insights and my personal preferences that's a wrap for today sapiens i hope you found the video useful and if you did then you might also want to check out this video where i explain how i use notion in medical school and before you leave make sure that you hit that subscribe button because 78 percent of my viewers who are watching my videos yes you guys have not subscribed to my channel so please hit that subscribe button before you leave and i'll see you in the next video take care peace